How to add an anti-forgery token to web forms to prevent cross-site forgery. Let's create a new web forms application. Okay, now we're in our new web forms application. Let's go to website, add references. We want to add a reference to system.web.helpers. You also need system.web.webpages, but you may not find these DLLs in your version of Visual Studios. I'm currently running Visual Studio 2019 preview and I don't see the DLLs, so instead we can download the NuGet package for these. So let's close out of here. So let's go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Manage NuGet Packages for this solution. So let's look for Microsoft.ASP.NET.WebPages, select our project, and install the NuGet package. Okay, now that we have the NuGet package installed, we can see that we have our DLLs that we were looking for, system.web.helpers and system.web.webpages. So we can close out a NuGet package. Then we can go to our code behind for our default ASPX file. Let's just add the page init method. Now we've added the page init method. Let's add our references, system.web.helpers. I don't seem to need system.web.webpages. So let's just add our anti-forgery token. So we just type anti-forgery.getHTML. Now let's go to our ASPX file to add a tag to submit the page. Okay, let's just add a button at the top. We have an ASP.NET button with an ID of my button. It has an on-click event, my button click. The text says submit, and we run at server. So here's our event handler, my button click. All we have to do is add anti-forgery Dot validate. Next I'll add the token to the page. So just above the button I'll add the token. Just make a empty div section. You can call it whatever you want. This is called my div. And we have run at server. Then we go back to our code behind. And then in our page init function we call my div dot inner HTML and set it equal to the anti-forgery token that we call to string on. Okay, now our anti-forgery token will be added to our form, and then when it comes back, it'll be validated. So let's run our website. Okay, our website is up and running. We called anti-forgery.getHTML, and here is the HTML that the anti-forgery.getHTML method generated. We have an input of type underscore request verification token it is hidden, and then here's the token itself in the value. So here's our page running, and here's our submit button that we made before. So let's click submit, and then we hit the my button clicked event handler. We execute anti-forgery.validate, and since it can find the token, we're all set. We can move on from here. If it didn't find the token, it would throw an exception here. So let's try that for example. Now on the page, instead of the token, we just have an empty string. So let's run the page. Now let's click submit. As you can see, we threw a system.web.mvc.http anti-forgery token exception. It did not find the anti-forgery token. It looks for the token with the name of underscore request verification token. And this token is not there, so we can return an error or do whatever we need after this. And that's about it for adding an anti-forgery token to your web forms page. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.